My name is I am Monstrum. So um, today we're just going to go through, uh, I kind of did it backwards this time. I actually uh, recorded it, the games of the ECL Sunday Challenge and then I'm doing the deck tech. Uh, so it's a little backwards. Uh, so I apologize for that. But regardless, uh, here is the list I was playing. I was playing some Kinnadins. Um, this is a variation of uh, Kubi's list that made uh, top four or top eight of... Uh, the uh, official eternal tournament uh, about like a week and a half two weeks ago roughly some somewhere around there um but i've been having a lot of fun with kinnadins it's a super 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 hard deck to play and even now like um if you watch the games before this video or watch the uh games afterwards i punted uh, a few times <laughs> and i've played probably 50 100 games with this deck and i'm still making misplays um but it's a super fun and rewarding deck to play um so let's go over some of the card choices uh so obviously we have got uh four grunadin drone four spark catcher um and four assembly lines those are kind of the basis of the uh unit de uh, of the deck uh because it works with uh combustion cell uh because it gets plus two power uh if it's a grenade uh so basically the kind of relative gist of this deck uh, as i'm sure a lot of you know is that you're just ramping up with uh combustion cell and then using combustion cell to ramp into things like kenna uh shaman of the scale um which, especially if you able to ramp up with Combustion Cell, it activates her tribute, so you can draw a spell from your Void. Um, you can also use this to ramp up into End of Hostilities, which also gives it the tribute, so you can play two copies of the unit instead of just one. Uh, so it's basically kind of just ramp up into Kenna and um, End of Hostilities uh, to just kind of basically go over your opponent. Um, Kenna actually goes kind of wild because it gets plus two plus two and flying for every spell so you can actually um with end of hostilities and can i like you can go ridiculously ham um some of the other cards in deck uh howling peak smuggler i mean it's just kind of an auto include uh some uh earlier versions before the smuggler came out was using uh the uh red merchant for whatever reason i am blanking uh ixton merchant um but instead this card it works really well because it gives our spells uh plus one damage uh which is really excellent uh so it makes our uh snowballs created by yoven hurler more powerful uh it gives torches more range and also we've got a torrential downpour in our um market uh works w which works really well with that and if you have like multiple howling peak smugglers um torrential downpour is just bonkers crazy good um, and then, so you've got Jotun Hurlers. Um, they're mainly uh, for the snowball and the ability to be able to just toss something away in your market for basically for free. Uh, then we also have Kinnas, obviously. Uh, then we're running two Azo of the Endless Horde as well. Um, this is similar to, it's either something you can ramp up into or it's just uh, good fodder because uh, it creates a treasure trove when it enters. Um, so it's good fodder for the market as well. Um, one really sweet thing that uh, Kubi had in their market was Elvish Swindler. Uh, one thing that's really sweet about this card is it lets us find uh, our combustion cells um, really easily just by playing it and then it plays it automatically for us. Um, also, it allows us to get the one of Cauldron Cookbook from our deck. So if there's a certain matchup where we really want Cookbook, uh, we can use Elvish Swindler to get it. Um, so that's really awesome. Uh, we're also including Howling Peaks. Um, even after the nerf, a recent nerf, Howling Peak is just really good. Uh, it mirror image and like Kenna is busted. Uh, it's removal, uh, especially when uh, quick draw or the uh, gun down combined with Howling Peak Smuggler can hit a lot of units. So that's really good. Plus it just it's just a really good card and it gives us. Uh, like all our Grenadines plus two health if you play it afterwards too, so it can help with blocking, etc. Uh, four Seek, four Torch, it's kind of obvious. Four Strategize, again, kind of obvious. Uh, assembly Lines, uh, talked about earlier. Uh, Wisdom of the Elders, just give us more uh, card advantage and uh, being able to kind of dig deeper into our deck. 
uh, and then the four in of hostilities. Uh, the power base is pretty basic. Um, one of the big things I changed in it, or actually, for whatever reason, I didn't change it in... Uh, I meant to change it, but it was supposed to be going down to four primal sigils and add some uh, cobalt waystones. I don't know why that didn't save. Um, but yeah, so basically just switch out for some cobalt waystones to occasionally give us face aegis, uh, which is really handy. Um, obviously, boar in the market. It's just, yeah, I want to say uh, nerf boar, but that's a whole nother conversation. Um, but yep, boar in the market. Uh, torrential downpour we talked about earlier is really excellent. Um, the unseal, really good. Uh, I mean, it's just a good catch-all, especially against maul. Uh, which will definitely be a problem um, for this deck. So that that help uh, helps there. Uh, Elvish Swindler we already talked about, and also we've got a Molot Nakova. Um, we're really often going to have Spark um, activated, uh, especially because uh, we've got like you can use the Caleb's Favor from the Howling Peak, or just all your Grenadins. Or there's a lot of different ways you can get Spark uh, from Molot Nakova, and it's basically a mini board wipe and it's just a big uh 8 8 flyer with aegis so it's just a solid inclusion um but anyway i've really been enjoying this deck um so i hope you guys uh take it have some fun i will say you probably will lose a bunch when you first play it but trust me after you start learning the deck and you start kind of messing about with it and you're not punting quite as much um it's a really, really fun deck to play. I, I really enjoy it. I uh, definitely recommend it. Um, also, I want to give a, a big thank you, uh, first off, to my team, uh, Team Rankstar. I really appreciate all that they do uh, for me. And also our uh, team sponsor, Inked Gaming. Uh, give a huge shout out to them. Uh, I've got a really sweet uh, uh, like mouse pad um, slash keyboard like it's, it's huge extended it basically takes up my whole desk um, but i never run out of mouse pad uh since uh so if, especially if you're someone who likes playing uh some games that require you to like move your mouse a lot super nice definitely check out them for all your mouse pad uh and also other gaming accessories they got everything from like hoodies to um uh, as i said earlier mouse pads you just got a bunch of really sweet stuff that you can customize with sweet art uh, from famous artists, or uh, you can customize it with your own art. Uh, and if you use the code TRS12, you can get 12% off your order, uh, and it helps support us and uh, give back uh, to Ink Gaming for all that they do uh, for us. And they're just a great company. I highly recommend them. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this deck tech. Um, and if you have any feedback or comments, uh, please leave a comment. Uh, constructive please <laughs> hopefully um and i'll do my best to respond to all of them but uh anyway uh hopefully you enjoy playing some candidates and uh until next time